What's up YouTube? This is video one of a four part series involving changing a bunch of fluid in the truck. Front diff, rear diff, transfer case, and transmission. Um, the front rear front rear diffs and the transfer case are easy. I've done that before, especially when I re-geared. Um, but the transmission fluid I've never done before. I'm at 50,034 miles right now. And you could do it at 60. I'm going to Moab in four days. So I want everything just nice and fresh. I'm sure I, I kind of beat up on my truck a decent amount. Uh, Off-road it a lot. And it's just time to change it. So you're going to get to see that. Like I said, this is video one, so this will probably be rear diff, and then the other three videos will follow shortly after. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so this is your Toyota Tacoma rear diff. It's pretty much the same on the FJs, I believe, uh, and I think the first gens too. Pretty much all the same. You have your fill, hole, fill plug, drain plug. Uh, first step is going to be opening up your fill plug. The reason you open this first is because if you open this and drain all your fluid and you can't get this bolt off, uh, well then you can't fill it back up. So always do this one first. We already went over that. Why we're doing that, let's do that first. And hopefully it doesn't give us any problem problems. No problem. All right, so I got some gloves on. Actually, it was actually pretty easy to break it loose, so I broke it loose already. Uh, we're gonna hope for uh, no shavings, and just so you know, you could thank uh, the Pelfrey built high clearance bumper uh, for allowing me to film it this angle because uh, it wouldn't wouldn't have fit if I'd had a normal bumper. So that's cool for you guys because it's easier to film. A little plug for them too, because those guys are great. Hey, Satin, Tyler, hope you guys see this. See Moab in four days. All right. So while that drains, let's take a look and see if there's any shavings. Yeah, the stuff that I use in my diff is a little different than what you'll use in a standard diff. Um, the reason for that is when I re-geared East Coast Gear Supplies, who I got my gears through. Uh, and they recommend, I think it's 85-140, I, obviously I have the oil ready, I'll, I'll double check in a minute, but it's thick, it's heavy duty gear oil, that's what they recommend and they know a hell of a lot more about differentials than I do, so that's what I use. Um, if you have just a standard gears, you can use the same oil in your transfer case as your diffs. I use the, what I use is Mobile One Synthetic, I believe that's 7590, which we'll double check. Um, and you can use that in all, all of your diffs. I use what East Coast Gear Supply uh, recommends. Yeah, so we'll let that drain for a little while and then we'll be back in a minute filling it back up. What's up? So we're back. It's pretty much done draining. I have some extra from last time I did this. And I'm just gonna dump in here. And I just wanna flush it out. I got it, it's an old bottle. There's only a little bit left in here. So might as well get rid of it all. So I cleaned off the magnet too. Nice and clean now. Just use paper towels. It's easy. Cleaned up right up. There's a decent amount of shavings on there. But that's expected. All right, so we're back. I'm putting the fill plug or the drain plug back in right now. Uh, obviously, you do that one first, so you can refill it. Um, yeah, how sweet is this little magnet guy? I just got that actually today, FedEx game, and uh, it's awesome. I think he's for all kinds of magnetic things. Like, oh, I don't think it'll hold this though. No, won't hold the ratchet. Just go kind of tight, you know. You just go tight. You go to where it's like stops and it's just like a little bit of. Mm. That's what I do. And then I'll... I'll